morning. It's mainly for northwestern Maryland into the panhandle of West Virginia and some of the highlands. One to two inches of rain could fall there, and that may be very good for those of you who are really suffering with this, the pollen. It's out of control this week, guys. Second highest count I've seen today, 2,177 grains per cubic meter as measured by Sue Kosiski over at Walter Reed. We, we thank her for that, and then we say, yikes, we need some help with this pollen count. If you leave your car out, even for a few minutes, you're going to find it covered. Well, that's why we have Dr. Alexander Chester with us this afternoon. I am so glad you're here, Dr. Chester. Are you getting a lot of complaints about uh, people who are suffering this year as the pollen is now peaking in Washington? I certainly am, so you're absolutely right. The pollen count is extraordinary. All that yellow that you see on your car in the morning, that's exactly what it is. Um, and a frost is not going to help us out with this one. Oh, um, really? I now, would think that would help a bit. It's not going to make a difference. Um, it's tree pollen, a lot of maple, a lot of oak, um, pine, and it is extremely thick. It bothers people terribly. A itchy nose, a runny nose, itchy eyes, scratchy sore throat. Um, a very, very difficult time. The, the spring is tough in Washington, and Washington is one of the uh, toughest cities in the United States right now. You know, a lot of people say they moved to this area and they've never had their allergies worse. And you mentioned something to me just a little bit ago as we were chatting, that sometimes uh, allergic uh, reactions can trigger anxiety in people too? Yeah, that's not well known, but it's absolutely true. It stimulates the histamine in the body and uh, cranks out something like caffeine, which makes people anxious. It can cause depression in people too. So it's a, wow. it's a tough time of the year, and the, if a person's allergic to the tree pollens, right now is, is the, about as worse as it gets. Well, let's talk about uh, treatments. You know, something that uh, we all know there are certain things over the counter. What do you specifically recommend to your patients that we could all get our hands on over the counter that might be uh, a, of help uh, this time of year? Well, these days you have a lot of choices. Allegra just went over the counter. You have Zyrtec and Claritin. Uh, these are called the second generation antihistamines and they are non-sedating generally, although some people get a little sedated with them. Um, the older ones did make people quite tired, although uh, some people can take them at night and have them uh, so sleep better and also get rid of the allergy symptoms. Now, but you do get choices these days over the counter. You sure do. And you know what I see uh, a lot uh, advertising, you see them in the drugstores, are those nasal rinses with saline and the neti pot. Do you think that those are of help this time of year? They can be very good. Uh, there's a prescription though that I think would be a better try for this time of the year which is would be the nasal steroid sprays. Uh, they can calm the nose down right at the level of the nose because they uh, of course uh, using them squirting them in the nose that coats the nose. The rinses can be helpful though. The rinses can uh, just a saline rinse can wash away a lot of the pollen. So they're also help as well. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate the help, and we know your uh, phone's probably going to be ringing off the hook. We thank you for taking time to come in and join us here at Fox 5 today. Thank you. And the Bye -bye. best news of all, folks, uh, we have a pollen-washing rain in the forecast. I think even Dr. Chester would agree that that should get a lot of it out of the air. We're going to be talking about that and, of course, this uh, very important three-day weekend forecast. I'll have that for you when Fox 5 News at 5 continues. We'll be right back.